verb this one we call verb and this one we call object all right yes uh, this one is is active sentence now today our lesson would be about passive sentence passive sentence so passive sentence and active sentence actually they are similar uh, if you change this one mr visna kisses the dog here you change this one to um, passive sentence you have to do like this a dog okay you add is and then kiss here verb verb three by mr vesna the same meaning this one a this one b so sentence a and sentence b have got the same meaning okay sentence a and sentence b have got the same meaning one is called active sentence and the second one they call it passive sentence all right yes sir. okay so let's look at the difference so when you solve it active sentence this one we call subject right it come out like this okay so we use passive sentence when the subject subject here uh does the action by itself does the action all by itself oh i forgot to record sorry i have to record first oh somebody already record thank you very much yeah party already record thank you thank you i always forgot you know so subject does the action by itself that one is active sentence okay so in my like this can you read right okay but passive sentence subject doesn't or does not do the action by itself okay so you can say like this okay all right okay so all right and uh, the form the form of a uh, passive voice you have subject when we talk about subject we have i we you they he she and it okay so i plus m okay we you they plus plus i and he's it plus e so plus what plus verb verb three and then plus plus or you can say by in bracket here and this is passive voice. Okay, I give you one more example. Okay, I give you one more example. Uh, John break. John break his his glass or his phone, for example. John break his phone. So this one is active sentence. How can you change this one to passive sentence? The Everyone. phone was broke by Mr. John. Okay, you can say his phone, what? Is what? broke. Is broke. Bro yeah, this is one plus bro is, right? Is broke. Bro change break. Bro <laughs> break change to verb three become broke. Broken. Broken. Okay, you can just finish the sentence like that. His phone is broken. You don't need, if you want to say by John, it's okay. If you don't want, it's okay. No problem. His phone is broken. All right? Yeah. Now, if this one verb one, 
Now, if I change that one to verb two, for example, I change the sentence, I say like this, John broke, okay? Broke his phone uh, yesterday. John broke his phone yesterday. If I change this one to passive, how can I change? Hmm? Hello? Yesterday. Yesterday and then Kama. Yesterday and then Kama. Okay, you don't need to move yesterday. You can use the phone again here, right? Say his phone. And this one in the past, right? Verb two, right? Hello? Yes, it's sure. Then you can say was. Yes, his phone was. This one still keep verb three broken. You can say by John or you don't want to say it up to you. His phone was broken yesterday. Okay, everyone, easy? <laughs> Not easy. Yeah. Not easy? Okay. Do you have questions? Okay, if you don't have questions. Yeah, I have a question. Okay, please. Are uh, 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 the uh, active sentence that help uh, that sentence in the past? We change it. Are they let us pay that sentence? The active sentence would die for your body, but she be let me. Ha, Jung Jung Chang, we are the Yes, because uh, uh, M is uh, here, verb 1, right? Yes, yeah. And verb 2, what is it? Was and or, or were. If, if the subject is phone, his um, phone, it, he, see it, then we do with was. If uh, I, or we can, uh, if uh, we use they, we do with were. I give you one more example. Let me, I can I clean this one. So you, don't worry, you can watch the video later on. Okay, I give you one more example with the uh, with 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 the uh, ver. All right. Now, just do the example with ver. So I'm gonna give you the same questions. The same uh, the same sentence. All right. Let's say John, okay, broke verb two, broke his phones yesterday, for example. Oh, my God, sorry. John broke his phone yesterday. So, but uh, I, I don't want to write yesterday, it's long, so you can just see here, John broke his phones. So he has more than one phone, all right, mister? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, so then in order to make a passive, you have to put this one in front here. So you can say what? They. Or you want to say his phone, that you want you don't want to change, right? His phones. It's up to you. You want to do they or his phones, no problem. But you can just say his phones. And his phone here is plural. Plural with you with what's a word. Hello? You with what, teacher? You with ver, not was. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Why? With ice here. So his phone, yeah. verse, and then the same thing here, broken. Okay, you can put by John if you want, but it's not important. His phones were broken. All right? So what's over here, it depends on the sub, the subjects. Okay, so now let's go to our lesson. What page is it here?
Hello. Seventeen. Seventeen. Right. Okay. Active and passive. Read the statistics. Choose the correct forms. Active or passive. Do any of the statistics surprise you? So statistic here. Yeah. You can see, right? I already translate for you in Khmer. In case you don't know, you can see here. Right. All right. So, um, so they want you to choose the answer. Which one is correct? Active or passive? Now look at number one as together. Nearly half the population involved or are involved in some form of employment. Which one is the answer? If you use involved, this one is active sentence. If you say are involved, this is passive sentence. Which one is the, the answer? Hello? I don't I think involved. I involved. I involved. Yeah. How about Chandrod? Chandrod want to say something. I think I involved her. Huh? I think I involved. Okay, so the answer is I involved. You are right. Okay, number two until number eight. I want you to do it by yourself. You can do it in five minutes. Okay. Do it in five minutes. We will check the answer at one thirty-five. Okay, everyone. Do it by yourself first. Read, check, do a call word and choose the answer. Just try your best to do it by yourself. If you don't know how to do it, that's okay, because we're gonna check the answer at 1.35.
Okay, one more minute. Okay, now time is up. Let's check the answer together. Number two, twenty percent of the workforce employ or employ. Employ, teacher. I employ by the state. Oh. This one when we translate, we translate differently. Chumpu uh, pasiu ni no pe de ke bo prai ke bo prai copy thamada de na. ពីនឹងមកភ័យភាគរយនៃកម្លាំងពលកម្មអ៊ីមប្លុយនឹងមកប្រែតែជួលជួលតែបើយើងប្រើផាសស៊ីវគេបកប្រែថាត្រូវប
forum now. Okay, very good. Number eight, seventy-five percent of British household own or are own. Oh my god, the answer already come out. <laughs> oh. oh sorry, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I haven't asked you yet. Two so far. Correct one. So fast. Oh my god. Yes, because um Okay, now I'm read I'm 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 gonna read for you. Read only the answer. Please listen carefully. Because after I finish reading, I will ask some of you to read for your friend. Okay? Right. Yes, sir. Statistic about jobs and money in the UK. Number one, nearly half the population, 29 million, are involved in some form of employment. Number two, 20% of the workforce are employed by the state. Number three, the average worker is paid. Twenty-seven thousand pounds a year. Number four, the average worker pays two hundred and fifty thousand pounds in tax in his or her lifetime. Number five, women earn on average seventy percent less than men for full-time job. Number six. Children are given on average nine pounds a week pocket money. Number seven, the average household spends 70 pounds per week on transport. Number eight, the last one, 75% of British household own a car. Okay, uh, Mr. Vizal, I want you to read again for your friends. Yeah, teacher. Number one, Nearly half the population, 29 million, are involved in some form of employment. 20% of the workforce are employed by the street. Estate. Yeah. The average worker is paid 27,000 pounds a year. Number four, the average worker paid two thousand and uh, two thousand or uh, two hundred and fifty thousand pound in tax in his or her lifetime. Women earn on average seventeen percent less than men for full time work. Children are given on average nine pounds a week pocket money. The average household spend seven seventy pound per week on transport. Seventy five uh, percent of British household own a car. Okay, very good. Um... So I would like to ask just one more student to read. Uh, Chandrat, can you read again? Number one until number eight. Why is her my name Chandrat? Oh, Chandrat, sorry, not Chandrat. Oh. Chandrat, okay. One, nearly half a population are involved in some form of employment. Two, 20% of the work workforce work work are employed by the state. Three, the average worker is paid uh, 27 and thousand pounds a year. Four, the average worker pays two 250,000 pounds in tax in his, for his or her lifetime. Five, women earn on average seven, 17 percent less than men for full-time work. Six, children are given on average nine pounds a week pocket money. Seven, the, the average Household spends seventy pound per week on transport. Eight seventy five seventy five percent of 
British high horse on a car. All right, thank you very much. Any difficult word you would like to ask me before we move to the next slide? No? Okay, so if no, thank you very much. Let's go to the next one. Okay, number eight. Put the verbs in the present passive, simple or continuous. So there's only two verbs in uh, present simple passive. Okay, we have we have present simple. We have what is it? Uh, for example, number one, can I help you? I am being served. Thank you. So number two, you have two choice because you have simple and and continuous. For example, you can say what uh, a lot of manufactured goods is or are that one. So uh, you can say yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, you can say are uh, made. So made. when this is uh, uh, made, it is a uh, passive simple, right? Yeah. And passive continuous are uh, making. Uh, being made. Uh, being made, not making. Yes. Hello, you visit oh. me? Study. <laughs> or study. Okay. We use the verb being. Uh, yeah, being, being. Yeah. Okay, number two, a lot of manufactured goods are made or are being made? You have choice. Which I one? Is are being made. Not I. Okay, this one are, <laughs> are made. Okay, that's okay, no problem, one mistake. Okay, now number, number three, I give you one more example with number three. So number three, we have the word service. My car, so we have is is service or is being service which one is the answer uh being teacher is is being is being yeah service okay thank you very much now you you can do it okay number four until number eight please do it by yourself Number four until number eight, do it by yourself and you have five minutes. Okay. Uh, we're going to check the answer at, at uh, 1.52. So don't worry, try your best to do it. At 1.52, we're going to check the answer together.
Okay, two more minutes. Okay, now we can check the answer together. Some of your classmates now said their internet is not good. And um, so please everyone, every weekend you have to find a place where your internet connection is good, you know, otherwise you cannot study well. Okay, now let's check the answer number four. Nearly 50% of the food we buy. What is the answer? Ah, uh, import. Ah, is. Ah, import. Okay. Is. Oh. Oh. Why? Okay, oh my God. <laughs> okay, is imported. Right, why very fast like that? Is imported. Okay, number five, the banking industry in the UK. What is it? Is situated. Is situated. All right, number six. Number six, anyone? Is Sava the Wis? Savi included in the bill. Okay. Number seven, the hotel is closed while the bedrooms what? Are being are being modernized. Okay, the last one, footballers. Uh, uh, paid far too much money. Okay, I'm reading the answer for you again, and, um, and then I will ask one or two of you to read. Number one, can I help you? I'm being served. Thank you. Number two, a lot of manufacture goods are made in Asia. Number three, why are you getting the bus? My car is being serviced. Number five, nearly 50% of the food we buy is imported. Number five, the banking industry in the UK is situated in London. Number six, a service included in the bill. And number seven, the hotel is closed while the bedrooms are being modernized. Number eight, footballers are paid far too much money. All right, uh, Chandra, I want you to read again. Okay, Chandra is sleeping maybe, so I will call Sokia. Not, not, not Chandra, sorry. Okay, so, so, <laughs> okay, uh, Sokia. Wow. Everyone, internet is not good. Okay, uh, Kim Lee. Okay, Kim Lee, please read again. 
Yes, it's Chan. One, can I have juice? I'm being generous. Thank you. Number two, a lot of manufactured goods. Manufactured goods are made in Asia. Number three, why are you getting the bus? My car is being serviced. Number four, nearly fifty percent of the of the food we buy is imported. Number five, the banking industry is the UK is situated in London. Number six, its service included in the Bill number seven. The hotel is close. Well, well, the bathroom, the bedroom, are being modernized. Footballers, uh, sorry, number eight. Footballers are paid for too much money. Okay, thank you very much. Um, then I will call one more student, Lika Chilika. Read again, please. Number one, can I have you? I'm being served. Thank you. Two, number two, a lot of manufactured goods are made in Asia. Th number three, why are you getting the bus? My car is being serviced. Number four, nearly 50% of the food we buy is imported. Number five, the banking industry in the, U in the UK is situated in London. Number six, each service included in the bill. Number seven, the hotel is closed while the bedrooms are being modernized. Number eight, Footballers are paid far too much money. Okay, thank you very much. So listen carefully. I'm uh, reading for you again. Number one, can I help you? I'm being served. Thank you. Number two, a lot of manufactured goods are made in Asia. Number three, why are you getting the bus? My car is being serviced. Number four, nearly 50% of the food we buy is imported. Number five, the banking industry in the UK is situated in London, situated. Number six, is the waste included in the bill? Number seven, the hotel is closed while the bedrooms are being modernized. Number eight, footballers are paid far too much money. Okay, any difficult word you would like to ask me? All right, so if you don't have questions, we're going to move to the next one. Okay, so this is listening and speaking. <laughs> Who earns how much? I want you to look at the diagram here. How many jobs do you see? Yeah? Ten, ten jobs. Ten jobs. We have doctor, footballer, senior director, nurse, Teachers, supermarket cashier, police officer, pilot, lawyer, and farmer. Okay. Uh, which one do you want to become? Okay, so I read for you again. Uh, doctor, footballer, senior director, nurse, teacher, supermarket cashier, police officer, pilot, Lawyer and farmer. Okay, Pia, I don't know to call Pia. Rotana, Lee Rotana, I want you to read the job again. Hello, Rotana. Hello, teacher. Okay, can you read the jobs in this diagram again? Uh, 
Senior director. Senior director. Senior director. Nurse teacher. Supermarket. Cashier. Cashier. Police of. Officer. Office. Pilot. Pilot. Lawyer. Farmer. Farmer. Okay. Uh, Ratia, read again, please. Okay, Ratia is so quiet. All right. I am eating rice, teacher. Oh, you are eating rice. So you yeah, can yeah. read. Can you read? I I don't. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to read. Are you always busy, right? While studying. He was in his land. Oh, last last week he also he was busy. Now he's busy again. I don't know how you study. Uh, we start it again, please. Um, doctor, footballer, senior director, nurse, teacher. Supermarket cashier, police officer, pilot, lawyer, farmer. Okay, thank you very much. And um, right now, let's look at the salary. So this one, one million pound. One million pound. One million pound. This one, twelve thousand and five hundred pound. This one sixty five thousand pound. This one seven hundred and fifty thousand pound. This one thirty six thousand pound. This one thirty two thousand pound. And this one eleven thousand pound. This one a hundred and five thousand pound. This one twenty two thousand and five hundred pound. This one a hundred and twenty thousand pound. Okay. Okay, uh, I read for you again. One million pound, twelve thousand and five hundred pound, sixty five thousand pound, seven hundred and fifty thousand pound, thirty six thousand pound, thirty thirty two thousand pound, eleven thousand pound. Hundred and five thousand pound, twenty two thousand and five hundred pound, a hundred and twenty thousand pound. Okay. Uh, right. So I would like to call Rien Chandra. Read the number again, please. One million, uh, one million pound, eleven and fifty thousand pound. Uh, well, well. Oh, twelve. Okay. Uh, now uh, I read for you again. Uh, Jandra, listen to me. I read for you again, yes. okay? Okay, now I, I will start with one million. One million pound. Twelve. Twelve thousand. Five hundred pound. Sixty-five thousand pound. Sixty-five thousand pound. So one hundred fifty thousand pound. So one hundred and fifty. And then thousand pound. This one we did thirty-six. Thirty-six thousand pound. Thirty-two thousand pound, eleven thousand pound, a hundred and five thousand pound, twenty-two thousand five hundred pound, a hundred and twenty 
thousand pound. Okay, now, Rudan Chandra, can you read again? Yes, uh, one million pound, uh, twelve, twelve and thousand, uh, and five hundred. Twelve thousand, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand and five hundred pound. Excellent. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Uh, hundred pound. Oh, the one hundred thousand thousand sixty-five thousand pound. Sixty-five thousand pound. The one hundred. Uh, twenty thousand pound. Where twenty? No, where where twenty? The one hundred fifty. Yeah, thousand pound. Uh, thirty-six. Thousand pound. Okay. Thirty two thousand pound. Okay. Eleven thousand pound. Ten hundred and ten hundred. No, eleven. Okay, sorry, this one a hundred. A hundred, not ten hundred. A hundred and five thousand pound. A hundred and five thousand pound. Yeah. Twenty two. Thousand. Twenty two thousand and why? Five hundred pound. Five hundred pound is one. The last one. A hundred and twenty. A hundred and twenty thousand pound. Okay, uh, straight B. Hello, Srivi. Hello, sir. Okay, I want you to read the salary here again. Start with one million. Okay. okay. Million, million pound. One, one million. <laughs> one million pound. Okay. Twelve, twelve thousand hundred, five hundred pound. Okay. But, Thirty-five, uh, thousand pound. Okay. Seven, seventy-five hundred, uh, seventy-five hundred thousand pound. No, not seven hundred. No, no, not seven hundred and fifty thousand pound. Okay, sir. Seven hundred and. Fifty. Seven not fifty five, so one hundred and fifty. Fifty. <laughs> so one hundred and fifty thousand pound. Okay, good. Thirty six thousand pound. Thirty two thousand pound. This one. Eleven. Eleven thousand pound. Uh, five hundred. Five hundred, a hundred and five thousand pound. A hundred and five thousand pound. This one, sir. Twelve, uh, not twelve, twenty-two thousand. Twenty-two thousand five hundred pound. pound. <laughs> eleven thousand pound. No, where is eleven thousand pound? A hundred and twenty thousand pound. A hundred and twenty thousand pound. Okay. Uh, tonight, practice until you can read all the number. Otherwise, don't go to bed. Okay? Don't sleep. So, I read for you again the jobs and the salary that they make. All right? Doctor, footballer, senior writer, nurse, teacher, supermarket cashier, police officer, pilot, lawyer, and farmer. One million pound. Twelve. Okay, I, I draw for you. One million pound. Twelve thousand and five hundred pounds. Sixty-five thousand pounds. Seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Thirty-six thousand pounds. Thirty-two thousand pounds. Eleven thousand pounds. A hundred and five thousand pounds. Twelve. 
Oh, sorry, £22,500, £120,000. Oh, okay. okay, now we go to this one. Number two, you are going to listen to two people discussing the chart. So listen to part one, answer the question. So we have, we have uh, one, two, and three. But number three here, no need to do now. I want you to do number one and number two. Is it okay? I want you to do number one and number two. So I did the question for you. Which jobs do they discuss? Job. The job here. They have, we have, they have, they have ton here. Which, sorry. Which one do they discuss? They discuss about doctor, nurse, lawyer, or what? What does okay. it mean, discuss, teacher? Discuss. Discuss. Here. Oh, talking. Yeah, or oh, like this. Okay? Oh, yeah, understand, teacher. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> right. Number, okay, that's all number one. Week salaries, do they agree on? So salary, do they agree on? All right? All right, number two, complete the sentences. They think a doctor earn either how much, how much, and the answer is all in here, all, all in here. Number, okay, the next one, they think either a, a what, refer to a job, or a, a what, we don't know, earn 150,000 pounds. And the last one, they think a, earn about 65,000 pounds. Okay, Mr. Vesna, I want you to read the question again for your friends. Yeah, teacher. Uh, number one, which job do they discuss? One, again, which salary do they agree on? Number two, complete the sentence. They think a doctor earn either pound or pound. They think either uh, or uh, earn the one five thousand pounds. They think uh, earn about sixty five. Number three. No, no, need to read number three. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> so in order to do this, I have to play the tape for you. Listen and answer the question. All right. So I play it twice for you. Here we go. Okay. Tape script 2.6. Can you hear? Who earns how much? Can you hear everyone? Yeah, teacher, I hear. Okay, so continue. Tape script 2.6. Who earns how much? Part 1. Well, I reckon that doctors earn quite a lot. Yeah, I think so too. They have a lot of responsibility and a lot of training. I'd say that doctors get about 105,000. What do you think? Mm, could be. Or it could be even more, 120,000. One of those two anyway. Should we look at the high earners first? Uh-huh, 750,000 pounds. Oh, there's one higher. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. A million. Mm. I'd say that has to be the footballer. Yes, definitely. They do earn ridiculous amounts of money, don't they? So, what about 750,000? Who earns three quarters of a million? Mm. I think that's the lawyer. As much as that? What about the senior director? Do lawyers earn more than them? Maybe, maybe not. I suppose the lawyer could be 105,000 and the senior director 750,000. Mm -hmm. Senior director's in charge of huge companies. Okay. Now, the pilot. Pilots earn quite a lot, don't they? They need a lot of experience. They have people's lives in their hands. I think they get ooh, at least 100, 150. Mm, I know what you mean, but... I don't think they get as much as that. Don't they? Oh. 
anyway, there isn't 150 on this list, so... I reckon pilots get about 65,000. OK, I'd say that's about right. OK, listen again. Script 2.6. Who earns how much? Part 1. Well, I reckon that doctors earn quite a lot. Yeah, I think so too. They have a lot of responsibility and a lot of training. I'd say that doctors get about 105,000. What do you think? Mm, could be. Or it could be even more. 120,000. One of those two anyway. Shall we look at the high earners first? Uh-huh. £750,000. Oh, there's one higher. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. A million. Mm. I'd say that has to be the footballer. Yes, definitely. They do earn ridiculous amounts of money, don't they? So, what about 750000 Who earns three quarters of a million? Mm. I think that's the lawyer. As much as that? What about the senior director? Do lawyers earn more than them? Maybe, maybe not. I suppose the lawyer could be 105,000 and the senior director 750,000. Mm -hmm. Senior director's in charge of huge companies. OK. Now, the pilot. Pilots earn quite a lot, don't they? They need a lot of experience. They have people's lives in their hands. I think they get ooh, at least 100, 150. Mm, I know what you mean, but I don't think they get as much as that. Don't they? Oh. Anyway, there isn't 150 on this list, so... I reckon pilots get about 65,000. OK, I'd say that's about right. All right, so answer the questions. Number one, which jobs do they discuss? They discuss about... Uh, discuss about doctor, lawyer, senior director, pilot, footballer. Yeah. Doctor, footballer, senior director, pilot and lawyer. Okay, which salary do they agree on? A thousand and five, a hundred and five thousand. Okay, footballer one million and pilot sixty-five thousand. <laughs> okay, number two. Complete the sentences. They think a doctor earn earn how much? One hundred and five thousand. Yeah, or five thousand pound. Of 120,000 pounds. Okay, very good. They sing either a what? Lawyer. Lawyer or a? a senior director. Senior director earns 150,000 pounds. They sing a? Pilot. Pilot earns about 65,000 pounds. Okay, thank you very much. You have all the answer. Now, we finished number one and number two. Let's go to number three. Now I want you to listen again. And what comment do they make about about them? So comment here like uh, something like this. Yeah. Okay. What word do they have to say about these people? Okay. Uh, I give you one example for the doctor. The doctor, they said, but well, doctor earn quite a lot. They have a lot of responsibility and training, all right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the answer for the doctor. How about footballers and the writer and pilot? So let's listen and answer. Here we go. Listen and answer. Tape script 2.6. Who earns how much? Part one. Well, I reckon that doctors earn quite a lot. Yeah, I think so too. They have a lot of responsibility and a lot of training. I'd say that doctors get about 105,000. What do you think? Mm, could be. Or it could be even more. 120,000. 
One of those two, anyway. Shall we look at the high earners first? Uh huh. Seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Oh, there's one higher. Oh, is there? Oh yeah, a million. Hmm. I'd say that has to be the footballer. Yes, definitely. They do earn ridiculous amounts of money, don't they? So, what about seven hundred and fifty thousand? Who earns three quarters of a million? Hmm. I think that's the lawyer. As much as that. What about the senior director? Do lawyers earn more than them? Maybe, maybe not. I suppose the lawyer could be one hundred and five thousand, and the senior director seven hundred and fifty thousand. Mhm. Senior directors in charge of huge companies. Okay. Now the pilot. Pilots earn quite a lot, don't they? They need a lot of experience. They have people's lives in their hands. I think they get ooh, at least a hundred, a hundred and fifty. Hmm. I know what you mean, but I don't think they get as much as that. Don't they? Oh. Anyway, there isn't a hundred and fifty on this list, so. <sighs> I reckon pilots get about sixty-five thousand. Okay, I'd say that's about right. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. So we have the answer for doctor. All right, doctor earn quite a lot. They have a lot of responsibility and training. How about footballer? Oh, do you have the answer? Okay, a footballer earn ridiculous amount of money. So ridiculous amount of money means too much money. Too much money, all right? Okay, you can take note. And how about senior director? Oh, the answer coming now. Senior director are in charge of huge company, very big company. All right. And pilots? Hello? Hello, sir. Oh, pilot got the answer. Pilot earn quite a lot. They need a lot of experience. They have people life in their hands. Ah, oh, thank you. Don't for, don't forget to join the class. You have a lot of options. Join every week. Okay. Or anything you want? Oh, zero mark. You can ask the librarian. <laughs> Okay, Vishal, can you read the answer again for your friends? Doctor earn quite a lot. They have a lot of uh, they have a lot of responsibility and training. Footballer earn ridiculous amount of money. Senior director are in charge of shoot company. Pilot earn quite a lot. They need a lot of experience. They help people lie in their hand. Okay, thank you very much. Any word you don't know, you want to ask me? Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, any questions, Zai? Right? Hmm. So in the word the word the word in charge are in charge of sorry. So are in charge of here mean to manage. To manage mean Okay, and the word experience, what is it? But we saw. Mm. How about the word, uh, okay, here. Yeah. Huge, mean very big. Yeah. And the word responsibility? Yeah, you must 
you must have this one, okay? If you don't have this one, you are not a good student. <laughs> wow, somebody just joined, right? Eh? time. We're about to have break. Okay. Um, so right now, I think we can uh, end our uh, session one right here. We're going to continue our second sessions. Okay, guys, at 2.50. Okay, guys. Now, have a break. In Khmer, like this. All right? And come back at this time. Is it okay, everyone? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, okay, so you can leave the class. I will, I will, I will uh, uh, drop the link or call you at uh, the at 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 two fifties. Now enjoy your break. Yes. Goodbye. Bye bye. See you at two fifty. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye. Uh, don't forget to come back. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. 